Hello, so now we're going to see the merge tool in action that we've been talking about during the lecture. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're now back here into ArcGIS Pro and we're gonna want to do a couple of things. So first, the I guess the first example of how we're gonna use the, the merge tool is we have a parcel that has been uh, combined. So we have these three individual parcels right here that have been bought by a single owner and need to be combined into one single parcel. So we're gonna to want to, to use the merge tool to make that happen. So we're gonna go over uh, and make sure a couple of things. First, we're gonna make sure the parcels are selectable, just like we've been doing. So we've got those as selectable. We also wanna make sure that they're editable. So we're gonna make sure they're editable. So we've got that. Now we're gonna make sure we're on the edit tab in the ribbon which we are, and go to our select tool here. And we're gonna select those three parcels that we need to combine into one single new parcel. Then we're gonna go up here into the tools group and there's the merge tool that we wanna use. We're gonna click it. And it opens the modify features pane over here. And notice, again, we have two options that we were talking about during the lecture. We can use existing features or create new features. For this, we're going to use the existing features because what this does is create a new feature in the same feature class or the same layer that replaces the selected features. Okay, so when we do this, the existing, uh, these three existing go away and the new single combined feature takes its place. So we want to look over here. So yes, we're working in the parcels layer we can see the various features we can go through here that we have selected that we want to merge. And notice the one that says preserve. That means that these feature uh, attributes are going to be maintained in the new feature that we create running the tool. Okay, So uh, if we know some different information, we could type it in, but we will preserve that one. It's going to maintain that street address number, so that looks good. I'm going to click Merge. Okay. So it's now where we had the three features. We're now down to one, which if I go over here to List by Selected, you can see I have a single parcel selected. So those three have been combined into this one single parcel. And if we go look at the attributes, you can see that it maintained the attributes for the one that we had marked as Preserve, with the exception of the Shape Length and Shape Area and object ID because um, those are default attribute fields that are maintained by the software and are recalculated automatically. So from here, I would want to go in. The acres is not correct, so I'd want to you know, recalculate those or if I have some document telling me what the acres, put that value in uh, as well. And then I could use other tools to calculate these other values, which we'll talk about in a later uh, lesson. So now I've got those uh, three parcels combined into a one using the merge tool. The next thing I want to do to use the new features option here is look over here. So if you looked at our uh, past video that we did in earlier in the lesson where we use the copy and paste function to select these three parcels here and paste them into zoning. Another way we can do that, especially if these uh, need to come in not as individual parcels, but as a group, um, meaning one big parcel, is to use the merge tool here as well. And we use that under the new features option up here. So I've got my selection done. Make sure I only have three parcels selected. So that's the three there. And I want to merge these so they become one single polygon instead of three individuals, but one single one, but put them in the zoning layer. Go again, make sure I'm on new features. Yes, I'm starting with uh, the parcels layer. That's what I'm copying from. And I've got the three selected. And again, you can see as I click on those, they highlight. Notice there's no preserve here because we're going to a new, potentially to a new layer. Yes, I'm going to use a template. So when I click the drop down, 
I also need to make sure that the zoning is editable for this to work. So check and make sure that's editable. And now that pops up. So now that the zoning layer is editable, again, I'm going to put these on to these uh, GC, which stands for General Commercial Feature Template. So select that. And again, I can go ahead and enter in any of these values ahead of time. So go ahead and say, because I'm the editor, put my name in there and go merge. Okay. So you can see it's now added that it's in the zoning um, feature class or layer. So you can see there's still one of those selected in the zoning layer. So it took those three parcels, which are still there. If I turn off my zoning, you can see the three parcels are still there. And created one single polygon that's the combination of those originally three selected in the zoning layer. So unlike when we did existing feature, over here where it replaced the existing three with the one single, with the new feature, it's going to keep the existing features there and create a new single feature on the layer that I've designated for it to go onto or into the, this case, the template I chose. So you can either choose to use template or just use layer. If you don't use template, then it's going to automatically send it to the same layer. Template, use template allows you to send it to different layers or different feature templates. So I could have set this to the parcels and copied it on top. Uh, why would you do that? Well, maybe you do have overlapping uh, features. Maybe you have condominiums, uh, things of that nature where they're stacked. So we can do that as well. Okay, so you've now seen an example of how you can use the merge tool to combine features in a single layer or to create uh, new features in a different layer that combines selected features from one layer. So this can be a very powerful tool. I know we use it a lot when we do edits to data. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this and learned something new that will help you as you start editing data. If you have any questions, again, feel free to contact us either via our website, uh, give us a call, or send us an email at the addresses and numbers shown here. With that, have a good one, and we'll continue on.